So here we have just a few parts. Interestingly enough, super clean cut on 5 8 inch material. Um, and some of it is blasted to remove the oxide, which works very well, and that's what you sh should be doing. And here we still have some oxide. Uh, we can try to brush that later, but that would be the thickest where oxide brushing works. When you brush something like this, you need to brush it really hard and the brushes will not pull it down. So a small part like this would not hold. In order to oxide removal, a small part like this, other than blasting, would be to vibratory finish it. Then we have some eight millimeter material here. And strangely enough, um, even though it was cut on an eight kilowatt laser, it has quite a bit of dross around it. And the edge rounding machine will make this dross round, but will not remove it. So what we will demonstrate to you is one part where we just go through the edge rounding machine, and then another part where we also go through a white belt panel just to remove that and then run uh, the edge rounding machine. But ultimately, I think the better solution is, is just to have an edge rounding machine and clean up the cut so that this dross does not occur. Okay, so we will start here. We will go heavy with this. Um, we'll set the machine to, to eight millimeter material thickness, very quick, right here. And um, we know where this has to be sitting in order to go hard and heavy. And that's what we'll do is we'll go slow to see if you can remove the dross on this. So we go two feet a minute. That's all we go. Even at two feet a minute, if I look at this, um, the part disappears in about 20 to 25 seconds. Yeah, maybe let's call it 30 seconds. You could put four parts side by side, so that would be eight parts a minute. That would still be 480 parts an hour. So you see here the white line from the rounded edge, but wherever we have drawn, the drawn is still remaining. Maybe with the second part, we, uh, um, we could remove that. But like I say, the better thing is to um, clean up. So this is what that part looks like. And you see here, for example, you had a little bit more still see it there. The outside edge is actually not too bad. Um, we can try a little more. So this is the top side. If we do the same thing with the top side, you will notice a big difference. In the meantime, we, take, we can take this part here. We will set our belt sander to 8 millimeter material thickness. Start on the first. Um, there we go a little bit left. We turn it on. This is just 180 grit. It's just meant to remove the dross. Hit the edges a little bit. As you can see here, that was a little bit light. You're going to have to do that again with a little bit lower. Coming out. So this is top side of the part at two feet per minute. Nice, very nice rounded edge. You see the white line on the part. So, all I'm doing here is I'm feeding. Normally I set that on the belt. I'm going to go two tenths lower. And I'm going to go a little bit slower. Now I hear the belt is solidly on there. It's rising. Yeah. Surface. Now we have a flat, smooth surface. If we take this, we will get a super nice edge. Two feet per minute. Cross belt on. Why is 
belt, medium, and cross belt. A very nice edge all around which should be good for paint and so forth and then we can run this side just like we did the other side so as to these parts they will go through a cross belt edge rounding machine why because a cross belt as soon as the part is underneath it will push down on the part it's gonna go a little bit lighter a little bit faster actually so that makes the transition better for this part but when you use a wire brush which if you go around here so this would be a wire brush for oxide removal you can remove oxide but not on a small part like this because the oxide brush will put a lot of lateral force on the part and it will move the part even though this is a hybrid to conveyor belt so this for a minute, and of course on this side it's a cross belt That was a non draw side. This was a draw side, and we have the non draw side here. So, now we're going to mark this. So, that was two feet per minute. drop side that's three feet per minute and this is also three feet per minute and this is the draw side and you see a little bit something here where the where the cut started and things like that but other than that very nice attainable part it'll also weld better so clean it with alcohol, it will become even more sticky and hold the part even better. So, 
This is four feet a minute, it's very cold, didn't do too much, don't like it, so we're gonna try harder. oxide removal test for you, but I really do not recommend using the wire brush on the machine with a conveyor belt that goes through. We have a separate machine where you have a gap underneath the belt so that the wire brush can really penetrate into the material. And the second reason why you would want to separate that out, if you brush oxide and you have a little bit of oil with the material, it is a horribly messy process and it will really make your machine so contaminated that you wouldn't want to use it for stainless steel or aluminum ever after that video. So this is why we recommend to make that a really separate process. Thank you very much.